Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're all well and in the best of health. Today's video I'll be showing you how I make Uri Bisi curry. It's quite a popular dish amongst Bengalis and it's definitely one of my favourites. So stick around and I'll show you how it's done. So we're going to start off with the ingredients. I have white fish. I have one onion that's already been blended. And I'll be using uribisi. Now uribisi in English is called shim. Bisi meaning seed. You can usually find this in Asian shops in the frozen food section. I'll leave a full list of the ingredients in the description box below for you all. So you're going to start off by boiling the uribisi for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now you want the uribisi to be nice and soft. You want it to hold its shape. You don't want it to be completely mushy. Otherwise it will just melt with the curry sauce. In a different pan, add your oil and once it's hot, add your blended onion. Now this might sizzle a little bit and splash back on you, so be careful when adding the onion. Stir your blended onion with the oil and cook until it's lost its raw onion smell. <laughs> Add one teaspoon of salt, not heaped. Keep an eye on the uribisi because sometimes the water can spill when it's being boiled. While you guys are here, check out my other videos. I upload every Friday. I do a lot of different recipes and I try and make it as easy as possible. Perfect for beginners. So now I'm going to add the spices, so we're going to start off with turmeric, then chilli powder, and lastly coriander powder. Give that all a good stir, mixing it in with the onions and the salt. Let the turmeric cook, you want it to be a nice fluorescent terracotta colour, you want it to lose its yellowness. So it should look like this. At this point, you can now go in and add your uribisi that has been boiled. Once you've added the uribisi, mix it in with the sauce, add half a cup of water and let it boil. Once you've added water, make sure you keep stirring because what can happen is the water just sort of rises to the top Whereas the onions and the spices and the bisi just sit at the bottom. So to make sure you've got maximum flavour to the bisi, keep stirring and inshallah you should get the flavour. The fishes you can use for this curry would be tilapia, bassa, cod, salmon. So I've used bassa fillets because it is boneless, but you can use any of those other types of fishes as well. Now with bassa, it is quite tender because it is boneless. So when you're stirring, you need to be quite careful, otherwise it will break. You want to carefully place the fish fillets in the curry. Like I said, be careful as they are quite tender and they do tend to break easily. Boneless fish is a lot easier to cook. Once it's actually in the curry, I would say it's about 15 minutes on boil and it would be ready. 
I would prefer this dish to be quite runny so you do need to add water a few times the bissy can soak up all the water making it really dry so in this dish itself I added water twice but if you want it to have a thicker consistency then you would just add water to how you prefer it Once you have allowed your fish to boil for about 15 minutes, your fish curry should be ready to serve. The best way to check if it is done is to cut one of the fishes in half and if it's got a white colour inside then you know it's cooked. You can now sprinkle fresh coriander and it is ready to eat. The best way to have this curry is with plain white rice. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have done, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Go check out my other videos and inshallah I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.